a very common electric field calculation question would look something like this, where you are given a certain charge, in this case negative 5 times 10 to the negative 8 coulombs, and asked to calculate the electric field at a point P a certain distance away. In this example, we are going to say 5 meters away. Now, since this is the charge that is creating the electric field, we are going to use the formula electric field is equal to kq over r squared because this charge in this formula refers to the charge creating the electric field. k we know is our constant and q is given to us as 5 times 10 to the negative 8 coulombs and the distance between them measured in meters is 5 squared. So this tells us then that the electric field at this point is 18 newtons per coulomb. And what's important here is being able to define the direction. And we know that electric field direction is always defined as the direction in which a positive test charge would move if placed at this point. And we can see here that a positive test charge would very clearly be attracted towards this charge and so we say that the direction of this field is towards the point charge or the charge if it was given a name point A etc. So we have now calculated the electric field at a point 5 meters away from this charge. Important to note here that by directing it as towards this point charge instead of saying upward this will always be true. So if the point P is drawn here 5 meters away the direction would still be correct as it is still towards that point charge. This question would normally follow on to say calculate the force F experienced by a 3 picocoulomb charge if placed at point P. And so since we know that we have a formula that relates the electric field strength to the charge experiencing the force, so note here that this is the charge that is experiencing the force the electric field we've already calculated at a distance of 5 meters away and so we can say the electric field strength is 18 and the charge was given to us as 3 picocoulombs which we know means 3 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs and this then tells us that the force experienced is 5.4 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons and then finally the direction, this is a positive charge and so this positive charge would be attracted towards that point charge once again. Again, I prefer to always give the direction in reference to the charge creating that electric field so that this is true no matter which direction you look at it from, whereas if you wrote it as upwards, it would only be true when looking at it in this direction. And so we say, the electric field is towards this point charge.